Hello, this is the CRT man here, and tonight I'm showing you my most recent find. Now, if you noticed, I haven't been making much of any videos lately because I've been busy and also I just don't have time for YouTube in general. I'm mostly on Facebook these days, but that's a different story. Today, when I was going to my friend's house, I was in his father's car and I happened to see what I thought was a vintage set with knobs in kind of like a, not really an alley but just on the street but like in an indent in a building where just random junk was and I said whoa and that that was it that, that's all I could do and then when heading back home at night uh, I asked him if he could drop me off around the area where I saw it and I walked over there and sure enough I my eyes were not lying I found this zenith set with knobs. No wood grain, but with knobs. Now, as many of you know, I am not allowed to collect any sort of old electronics because of my mom. It's been like this for about four years or so, ever since I started collecting, but you know, I just, you just can't let something like this get turned down, so yeah, I had to do it, in my opinion. But, you know, and then, uh, yeah, so I, I just lugged it home, or really, I, I actually, I put, I brought it on the bus and then lugged it home, and it's pretty light, it's only like maybe 12 inches or less, but it's a really cool looking set, I've seen sets like this on eBay, and uh, I have a couple pictures of it, in fact, I have the model number on my phone, so I don't have to go behind it on the video, it's a Zenith J121F with a 9JB1X chassis. Uh, probably built around 1977 because my other Zenith, yeah, that's right, the one that I haven't shown in two years, was also a J model built in 1977. I think the letters kind of designate the years, I've noticed. But, uh, yeah, I actually still have that set, by the way, but it's concealed in an extremely secret area. <laughs> I haven't even seen it with my own eyes in two years, but it still exists, and I have to probably do the same with this set, unfortunately, but yeah, and let me show you around a little bit if I can with my laptop's red cam, Let's see here, uh, yeah, at least I think you can see, like I said, it's a pretty small set, it's real portable, definitely the definition of portable. And like I said, it's got your UHF, VHF, on-off volume, contrast, brightness, all that good stuff. The tube is in okay, is in pretty good cosmetic shape. A little dirt, but that's about it. The case is not broken in any way. No cracks. It's just dirty, that's all. But I could easily clean that. Maybe turn it around and show you the back. small it fits on top of my clothes hamper but yeah it still has the power cord which looks like it kind of plugs in it has the vertical size the vertical hold knob is gone uh, so that's only the, that's like the only thing I unless you know what no you could probably put a screwdriver in there uh, has the VHF UHF input once again the cord which was nicely wrapped up manufactured July 1977 found it right here. I knew it was a 1977, but it's also July like my other one. So they're pretty much sister TVs. And for those of you who do not know what that TV looks like, I'll probably put some stuff in the video when I edit it. It was actually made in May 1977. It's a very beautiful looking set. Um, let me show you around. It's a really compact case too. It looks like it's a 12 inch. See here, this is where the antennas are. People, YouTubers like uh, Rob CRX, Shango 066, Ah Dubone 5425, and Radio TV Phono Nut. I'm pretty sure they'll absolutely love this. It's got amazing fake wood grain, my favorite. As, as you see, the case is super compact. It also has a nice antenna, which pulls out. And I know what you're all wondering have I tested it yet? Absolutely not. Hold on a second. 
this is totally untrue. Later on, I did test it. Later on, meeting like the next morning. So yeah. Well, my friends, it works. Just turning it off is a little weird. there you have it. My most recent find. Couldn't turn this set down. Only problem is I have a couple other sets besides my other Zenith that are going to end up unfortunately being bumped out of place because of this set. I still have my old 1988 uh, Sony Trinitron and a never before seen 1984 RCA with no knobs. But it's kind of an interesting set. But those are probably going to have to unfortunately get put on the street because I have no space for them at this point. But there you have it. This is the second vintage or third vintage set with knobs I found and now the second in my collection that's still around and in good shape. So I'm going to try my hardest to keep it. And yeah, thanks for watching. I never mentioned in the video that when I was bringing the TV back when uh walking uh walking with it in the street at night I actually found a sharp VCR uh, I was not considering at all taking it but yeah I just never mentioned it might as well just include it in this video and my voice sounded really weird in the other recording <laughs>